Someone else is in local with combat scanner probes out. Thomas has finished finished his uh, cycle. Thomas is returning to Drone Bay. We're aligned to a safe. There's a Loki on scan. Come on, Thomas. Come on, Thomas. Land before, get back before the Loki lands. Come on. I know he's in warp to us. I know he's in warp to us. There he is. Fuck, we have to get out of here. We can't wait for Thomas. Oh. Frustrating. Frustrating. Thomas had a full block of ice. He's just so slow, that ice harvesting drone. Sorry, Olaf had a full block of ice. That ice harvesting drone is just so slow. Okay, and he's already... He's already got a sense of where we are. He warped to the gate, thinking that was where we warped to. He's got combat scanner probes. We're going to have to be dropping multiple safe spots here and bouncing like crazy. This is not a great situation to be in. Oh, <laughs> and we left poor Olaf back in that ice belt. He's got his block of ice. He's just like, when are you guys coming back for it? When are you coming back for this ice? I'm waiting. I really hope we get a chance to rescue Olaf. I'm not sure that he'll still have the block of ice now that we've gone off grid with him. He might need to start mining again. Although I am getting ahead of myself, it is for sure, for sure, not a foregone conclusion that I'm going to be able to get Tomish out of the system alive. This is Bill. Bill wants to build a Cinnaball and join the Angel Cartel cause in Zarzak but he's not making it easy on himself. So I'm dropping a number of safe spots in different parts of the system. And then I can start bouncing between them. Although if he is good at scanning, he will eventually start getting locks on my safe spots. And by the time he warps to the safe spot that he found me at, I will be off to another safe spot. But it does mean I'm gonna have to be dropping new safe spots constantly and deleting the old ones so that I don't just keep, I don't just land on a spot the already has scanned and have him potentially there waiting for me. This guy is an unspoken alliance, which is neither of the Sov holding alliances in this system. So what we have to hope is that he's just a hunter, that he's unaligned, that he's traveling through this space looking for fights. And perhaps we'll eventually give up on catching this lone Thorax. Although once we see him leave system, it's going to be harder for us to do so as well. He saw us warp over to zero attack, which means that if he leaves system and waits for us somewhere, it's most likely to be there. There is another way around back to our Thera wormhole. We could go through, I believe, NCG tack instead. So I think we will do that if we get a chance to try and leave the system. Now, the good news is even if he's got our safe spot scanned, we should be OK warping to them at 100 because he doesn't have a bubble, right? So if we land on him at a safe spot, then we're completely screwed. But if we land 100 kilometers off of him, we probably will have time to get out to a new safe before he can burn towards us. 
So while I'm dropping new safes, I'm going to be warping to my old safes at 100. And once I've got a high enough number of new safes, I'll be deleting my old safes so that I don't accidentally warp to them. And because I'm bouncing semi-randomly between the safe spots I have, warping at 100 each time means that even if he scans down my landing spot, my landing spot will be a little bit different the next time I come to that safe because I'll be coming from a different direction. Now it's tempting... Well, he doesn't seem to have combat probes actually out to do two things here. The more dangerous of the two things I'm tempted to do is pop back into the ice belt quickly and try and grab Olaf. Although he does likely know that I might want to do that. The other thing I could try doing is safe logging. Getting a safe spot, one of the ones that's further out in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to try and make a good deep safe right now. One that's not in D-scan range of anywhere. And if I can get to a deep safe, then I could potentially try logging off in space. Although there is that 30 second timer, which is certainly enough to get combat probed if he's on the ball and he's good at it. I don't think there's anywhere where I can get off of D-scan entirely. I'm going to try safe logging here. Okay, we're aligned to another safe spot. If we see a single combat scanner probe, we're going to abort and warp. If we log off for about 15 minutes, I think this guy's going to lose interest. But I don't think Olaf's going to be there for us when we get back. Sorry, Olaf. Okay, we're logging back into our safe spot. It's been about an hour and a half. Hopefully there's not a Loki sitting at our safe spot when we land. Uh, the Loki pilot is no longer in system. There are four other people in system, Fraternity and Azure Citizen. There's an Ishtar on scan, probably ratting. Let's see if anybody is at our ice belt. I assume they probably won't be, but we'll double check. No one's at the ice belt. We're going to warp to our ice chunk and see if we can't recover Olaf. I will say that it finally happened. That Loki came into system and started combat probing us. Well, I had the UI hidden <laughs> and was getting some glamour shots for the video. I turned my UI back on, combat scanner probes on D-Scan. If I'd shot like 10 seconds more footage there, then we would have died. There's Olaf. Reconnect to Lost Drones. We're going to micro-warp drive over towards him quickly. I'm pretty sure that he will not still have the ice chunk. Ishtar still on scan. Oh! We mined one right... Okay. That's amazing. Olaf. What a hero. He held on to that chunk of pristine white glaze and just waited for us. I don't love the idea of trying to mine another while these four people are local, but we can try and get this one safely back to Thera. This outing, if we can navigate through two gates, I am going to go around via NGC tech. The Ishtar is on the gate or it's on the zero attack gate. Warp to our safe spot that's closer. If we can get this one pristine glaze chunk back to Thera, with Tomaj still in one piece, I will be so happy. The gate is clear. We're going for it. One jump up to NCG tack. One jump over to zero attack U. Back out to Thera. There's gonna be some high risk gate jumps here. I think that Ishtar left system Hopefully he's not on the other side of this gate. Gonna make a safe spot in the system before I go for the zero attack gate. Zero attack gate looks clear. We're going for it. If they've decided to lock down the system where the Thera hole is, we could well see an interdictor on the other side of this gate, in which case Tomash is just dead. The next danger point is going to be this side of the Thera hole. 
but it's only KK Killick in system, who was docked up in the Fortazar before. So I think this side of the Thera hole is going to be safe, as long as it hasn't been rolled. The out sig for the Thera hole is LQL. Still exists. It's 4 AU away. It's on D scan. No one's there. The last danger point is going to be the other side of the wormhole in Thera. I'm feeling good about our chances. We're back in Thera and no one's on grid. Establishing warp vector. And we're more or less home free. <laughs> With Kaldari Ice. Not enough. Only one. And I'll tell you, I'm not going back out to that system right now. But this is progress. We need one more ice chunk from somewhere else. Some less active corner of Kaldari space. <laughs> Ooh. Good job, Thomas. Good job, Olaf. What a team. What a team. I can't believe that Olaf just sat there. I can't believe he just sat there with that Loki on grid, holding his chunk of pristine white glaze, waiting for us, trusting we would come back. We always do. We always will come back, Olaf. Fear not. I would not abandon you in the cold wilds of Tinal. Gravitation Laboratory, it's safe on D-Scan. We're warping to our dock bookmark. Oh! There's a shattered ice field in Thera? Surely it doesn't have the faction ice. It probably only has that uh, ice that gives the uh, strontium clathrates and whatnot. I'm not sure I'd want to mine ice in Thera anyways. One unit of pristine white glaze. Reprocesses into 292 nitrogen isotopes. Yes, please. We need 405. More than halfway there. Three quarters of the way there almost. Another outing. That was tense. This is pod racing. I'm taking Aaron to scope out that shattered ice field. It's so close to the station. I'm sure it doesn't have what we need. There's no harm in popping our head in. Wait, glare crust? Pristine white glaze? Oh man. All four, all four racial types of ice are here. We could have done all of our ice mining in Thera. Now, I mean, that's admittedly extraordinarily high risk. A thorax on D-scan in Thera, guaranteed to get combat probed. But how fast? In less than five minutes? Do we dare? Oh man, I would love to knock this off right now and put up that check mark. But this is so absurdly high risk. I guess not really. No one's going to be expecting our thorax to go there. I'm doing it. We're going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so ill-advised. I'm sure that I'm only doing this because I'm riding the high of having escaped that, uh, that peril out in Tino. I feel invincible. We're certainly going to pay for this hubris. But if we do, we can build another Thorax. We're never going to build a Cinnaball without taking risks. And there are no ships on D-Scan. The ice field is 0.7 AU away from our safe spot near the Grav Lab. We're warping to zero on the particular ice chunk that we need to harvest. And then we'll start aligning back to this safe spot. And in fact, we know, we know now that once Olaf finishes his cycle, we can warp off and then warp back to him. I suppose the real question is going to be what NPCs spawn here if NBC rats do spawn at these wormhole ice fields. Shattered ice field. Is this unique to Thera? Or could any wormhole have all four racial types of ice? If I had known that, if I had known that there was a single asteroid belt, a single ice field that could give us all of our racial ice, that probably would have been plan A from the get-go. We're hammering a D-scan for five minutes straight, watching for combat scanner probes. Of course, they don't need to combat probe us. 
a ship that's cloaked could just descan towards the anomaly and figure out exactly where we are. But they would have to at least consider the possibility that a lone thorax out in Thera could be at the ice field, which is a very strange place for a thorax to be. I wish our ship was a little bit slower so that we wouldn't pull distance from the white glaze ice chunk so quickly while staying aligned. There are in fact rigs called, I believe, Higgs anchors, which reduce your ship's speed and are designed for just this purpose, allowing you to be aligned without pulling distance. I could have considered building those. I'm not sure what kind of salvage they need or how much the DPO costs. That could be a possible rig loadout for our venture at some point in the future. Also would be useful while mining Moongu. In terms of the thorax specifically, if this, if this chunk mines, we're just done. We're done ice mining for the whole run. We'll have everything we need to build all four types of fuel blocks. And in fact, the things that we're thinking about doing in terms of T2 manufacturing, I think we'll have enough fuel blocks to spare. The fuel blocks build in, I believe, batches of 40, and we won't be using all of the fuel blocks we build to do our Cinnabal reactions. So I think we will only ever need to mine ice again if we decide to get into T2 manufacturing in a big way, which given how close we are to our ultimate goal, does not seem likely. I think I need to burn back. I think we need to knock an air drone control range. This is the moment of danger. This is when someone uncloaking on us would be a real problem. We're gonna burn past the asteroid. Now I intentionally bookmarked an asteroid that was as far as possible from the warp in point. So if someone sees that we're at the glaze belt, warps in cloaked in a uh, in a Loki or something, I'll have to either slow boat all the way over here or else bookmark an asteroid, warp off and warp back in. Okay, now we're gonna align back to our safe spot. Turn around, still vulnerable, still vulnerable. First person view. And we're back up above 75% speed. We are now back in insta-warp territory. Come on, Olaf, you got this. How far away is this ice chunk? Okay, we need to, I need to actually de-align for a second because we need to make sure that we don't bump into that one big asteroid while we're aligning. There we go, we're realigned. No huge chunks of ice for us to bump into. All we have to do is wait for Olaf to finish his work. Oh. Olaf's returning. Come on, Olaf. Our hold's full. Get off grid. <laughs> oh, Thera is bountiful. That was ill-advised, but we didn't pay for it. I'm over the moon right now. Another 292 nitrogen isotopes. We have 584 of the 405 we need. Check mark in the bag. Ice mining completely done. In fact, in fact, let's pull up that original checklist, not of the individual items, but the checklist of all of the different types of tasks that we need to do because we can finally say, ice mining complete. Oh, Bill, Thomish, Olaf, take a bow. Thanks for watching. I know this was a short one, but it seemed self-contained. More adventures coming very soon.